following is a Jackass Nation production. Subscribe to us on Podbean at jackassnation.podbean.com. Ladies and gentlemen, the following show is supported by Amazon.com. Use the link in the description below so you can help support this and all other shows on the Jackass Nation. Go home, go home, go home. I don't have to take this. I'm going home. The best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Ladies and gentlemen, this next match is a go-home match. Introducing first, the Jersey Jackass, your champion, BC. That's the bottom line, the Stone Cold Jackass. And yes, I'm now, with the rock in cooking. Just when they think they got the answers, I change the questions. Barack Damn straight, New Day rocks, but welcome to a show that New Day is not going to be on. Welcome to Go Home, WWE Great Balls of Fire. Goodness gracious, what an awesome name that is. I am joined by two of my good friends, the one, the only, Mr. Rob and Tropy. Rob, what up? Yo, what's up, people? How you doing? And he's a professional wrestling guru himself. He's, he is Mr. Jason the X. How did I end up on your show? I don't know. Anyway, okay, <laughs> fine. fine we kidnapped you in three in the seat. <laughs> I need to stop drinking so much. Anyway. Yeah, you probably should. But we got great balls of fire here in Dallas, Texas Woo! this weekend. And can we first say what, a, pride, you know? what an awesome name that is? No. If we were going to get one. that logo is <laughs> even worse. <laughs> it's literally two flaming balls. <laughs> It is the greatest thing I ever. I love that people are laughing at this. It's but a yeah. hot penis. <laughs> with, a, with a long, fiery shaft. <laughs> I just love, like, a ba- back a while back when... Uh, Why have they not changed When this? Dean Ambrose was like, I got a name for the next pay-per-view. I got it. Don't worry. And now it's Great Balls of Fire. <laughs> But it is going down this weekend right here in Dallas, Texas. Rob and I are going to be there. Yep. Rob, to happen to finagle me some tickets. Nice. So, uh, no, I actually did some legal work for this, and I got these tickets. Well, sounds about right. My, my little box seats. Yeah, Jay will become part of the show. Well, anyway. Let's let's kick it off. Let's kick it off here with uh, a match that I'm pretty sure Jason's got the most input on, if any of us do. But it is the pre-show match with Neville will defend the, t- the Cruiserweight Championship taking on Akira Tozawa along with Titus O'Neil of the Titus brand. Uh, have you been watching 205? Okay, I haven't watched 205 Live, which I think this match has the potential to be very, very good. And I hate that it's been relegated to the pre-show. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of pre-show stuff. Just call it the entire show. It doesn't matter if this opens up because if we saw last time with Austin Aries and Neville... They did a very good match at WrestleMania and, I mean, not stole the show, but they definitely set the precedence for the oh, show. Oh, yeah. Very much. And was- I think Akira Tozawa and Neville have the ability to to set the tone for a show. So it's good that this is actually the opening match, but I actually want to see Akira Tozawa win this one. Really? Yes, With I do. everything Neville's been doing, because Neville's been so good. But you, you- Neville is great. I kind of want to see him chase for a while, though. Really? Okay. I don't get but me he's wrong. the king of the cruiserweights. I love what Neville's doing, but I want to see what he does on the chase. Um, Akira Tozawa has been absolutely fascinating in the ring, and he certainly has put on some great shows. But I don't want a one-and-done match between yeah. these two. I still, I still have not watched 205 Live, so I don't really know much really? about... I don't even know much about Akira Tozawa at all. So I, I, I don't want a one-and-done match. Has the story been good? Well, the, the fact is that they've done one-and-done matches mm-hmm. with Neville, and I think they could expand on it a little bit, especially what they do with Austin Aries. Yeah. Akira Tozawa, we have the potential for more, especially with Titus O'Neil being involved. I love Titus Brand. And it's great. Yes, the Titus Brand is helping push this... So, yes, I want more matches between Neville and Tozawa because no matter who wins, we win. So, there. I said that. Rob, have you watched 205 Live at all? 
No, I haven't. No. So you don't know nothing about these guys either because they're definitely not on those, Hulu. Those, those two guys, no, I, I don't know anything about. Them. <laughs> All right, well, the next matchup, we're going to have Sheamus and Cesaro taking, defending their tag team championships against the Hardy Boys in a 30-minute Iron Man match because nobody is Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart, and no one can go an hour anymore. Hardy Boys need to lose this match because they have enough hype. They can afford losing this match. I think Cesaro and Sheamus need to win this to continue the feud on. I don't give a goddamn about this match because really, I don't care about the Hardys. Man, I, you could go to hell. I, no, I, I had a feeling he was going to say that. And it's it's rightfully so. Until they're broken, I don't care. I don't like the Hardy boys. All right, I think they are stupid. I think they're, they were, they, they've, been, they've been played out ever since they split up the first time. The only time they became relevant again is was become, when they became the broken Hardys. The Hardy boys is what I know. When I was watching way back in the day... I knew the Hardy Boys. When I hear that music playing, well, yeah. oh, my heart starts racing. I jump up my seat. I'm like, yes, yes, it's the Hardy Boys. I get up. I start jumping. I start shaking. <laughs> I'm all for the Hardy Boys. I want them to win. I'm just saying. I just, I, okay. just, I mean, it's not much it more for... them. It's yeah, not much yeah, more for Sheamus and Cesaro because I'm not a huge... I'm not on their band wagon as much either. But it's just even when the Hardy Boys were the Hardy Boys back in the day, I was on the Dudley Boy train. So I was always against the Hardys. Okay. So I, I liked them when they were the new brood. That was cool. That's a long, <laughs> That's a long time ago. Do you, no, do you remember the Hardy Boys with an S? Do you remember before yes. it was a Z? Yes. When they were literally based on the book characters. <laughs> So I'm pulling for Seamus and Cesaro, even though they're not my favorite pick. Yes, yeah. but I think to continue the feud, they need to win. I think so too. I, I agree. I think they have. They you can get more heat from them winning than you can from uh, Hardy Boys winning. Yeah, I, I, I gotta kind of agree with, with Jason. Plus, if they can get this whole uh, broken thing figured out, mm-hmm. losing would be a good segue into that whole thing. I yeah. think so. Yeah. I, I agree. All right, next match up, we will have the Intercontinental Championship on the line when The Miz, along with his Miz Tourage, take on Dean Ambrose. Miz needs to carry over into this. and just, Oh, yeah. Look, we, we Miz have, is the, phenomenal we right have the feud going. Yes, Miz is more entertaining as Intercontinental Champion and as that heel aspect. So he needs to beat Dean Ambrose no matter what it be. If he uses the Miz Tourage... God, I hate saying that name. I love that. I don't understand why Bo Dallas is there. I don't get why he now looks like his brother and is not with his brother. Because I believe he's going to join the Wyatt family. Okay. You think he's eventually going to? Yes, because I I'm, do. I'm waiting for Why did he join this if he's just going to leave and go to the Wyatt because family? Because he's going to join the Wyatt family. But regardless, Miz needs to go over in this match. Dean Ambrose needs to be hunting more. Yeah. Um, he can possibly use in a world title segment after this, depending on who wins for the world title. I'll get uh, into that later. I think Dean needs to stay away from the main title and needs to stay at the undercard right now. But he because can it, he, that's so. what he needs to be at. What about what are you thinking, Rob? Me? Well, I liked him when he was on the real world, <laughs> and I'm all for the mic. Oh. God, I miss. What? I, I I I I agree with him. Mike the Miz. Him on there, he said he wanted to be a wrestler from then. for his reasoning. He wanted. That's why, dude. The, I still today. I love I, everything about the Miz. I love. I would love to see the Miz in the heel. number one. He's yeah, a good heel. He is as far as the men go. He is the best heel in the company. He can make people hate because him. because people actually and they they boo him for the right reasons. They boo him because you're supposed to boo him. Yeah. Not like Roman Reigns, where you boo him because you because screw Roman Reigns. He only gets booed. Oh, hey, hey, he only hey, gets booed on SmackDown. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa, whoa. He only gets booed on SmackDown. You shut your whore mouth. Well, we don't. We, hold, hold on, Jamie over here. We don't like Rome. We like Roman Reigns. We'll talk later about Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, we'll get we'll get in we'll get into Roman here in just a minute. So, so what, you got you got Miz taking it though, Rob? Miz, yeah, yeah, yeah Miz. I do too. I think the Miz is going to get it. I think it's going to be help from Bo Dallas, or I think Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel are going to get thrown out, and that's when the Miz is going to get the win. You know that that whole thing. So, uh, storyline that I'm most excited about, uh, the one that has me most into it, is the Certified G, Enzo Amore. Taking on Big Cass. We've had, what, two weeks to build up the story, which I see Cass going over. Yeah. I just do. Because, of course, they want to push Cass. And Enzo's the underdog. Yeah. So, 
You mean, yeah. Enzo's the underdog. Uh, it, Cats will go over. It worries me that Enzo's going to get lost in the shuffle after the feud. Oh, though. there is some clear mishandling of properties that should have been handled better going mm-hmm. into these. Be- because, one, they should have had a tag title by now. They should have had it before Absolutely. you split them up. Absolutely. Um, of course, it adds to the feud that they never won the title. But Enzo on the mic is gold. So he's you got to keep him in the fold somehow. But I think I, I agree with you. I think the match goes in favor of Big Cass, Rob. Um, Big Cass is going to take it. But I mean, I really didn't know these guys uh, from before. Started watching recently, like you guys know. And Enzo with this these last two weeks, well, this week especially when he got up there and he spoke, man, he was like one of those freaking kujins I hung out with back in mm-hmm. back from Canarsie. I? Well, he's he. <laughs> wow. Like, okay. the, the story, the story of him and Cass meeting on a basketball court in New York is true. That's how they met each other, hooping in Brooklyn. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, Enzo's got heart, and like you said, he can talk. That man can spit some game when he gets in that ring. But smack talker Skywalker, <laughs> Big Cass is called Big Cass for a reason. Uh-huh. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, unless there's some interference in there somewhere, Big Cass is taking it. Okay, all right. I I I, I don't. I, I agree with you. I don't think the feud's over. I don't think this is like like you were saying with the. Oh, Chris, wait, this isn't it. one no, and done. It will not be over with this. No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, next up, we have Seth Rollins one on one with Bray Wyatt. Uh, kind of just a feud match. Man, Bray is. I think Bray is just lost in the shuffle here, and we're not really getting like like the fans are starting to not really care much about him. I think at this point, the answer to this is putting the belt on Bray. Yeah, but I don't see any time soon that that's a possibility. I think it helped with his character on SmackDown is all I'm it, saying. It did, and then we but completely it was wasted it with the stupid House of Horrors and all that other crap they did. So let's put Bray in the title hunt. Yeah. I think that would help revitalize the character, but he needs to win over Seth. I would. I honestly want to see some kind of face turn for Bray, and see him going what? against the Miz. What? That's because we want to cheer him already. You want to mid card him down. A Intercontinental Championship is not the mid card. I think they can make a real good Disagree. run there, and I think it could even be they can main event Raw on certain occasions with it with it, with a feud between Bray Wyatt and the Miz, adding in Bo Dallas. I would love to see Bray pushed in any aspect right now mm-hmm. because he has the potential. His character has potential. His ring work is great. It is. Yeah. So give this man a chance to run with it. And and, and honestly, I'm like, put a belt on him to let him run with it. I don't know, Rob. Where, where, where do you see, what do you see champion. from What do you see from Bray coming out? Uh, t- to tell you the truth, between both of these guys, I honestly don't give a shit. Really? Yeah, I, but he's the I, king, I, but he's the I, I, king honestly, slayer and Bray Wyatt. I, I honestly don't care. Of course, I mean Bray. I've known him a little bit longer, so yeah. Uh, somebody put their hand in the small of his back and push him like they've been pushing fucking Roman Reigns and <laughs> and, and, and get him something because, like like Jason said, he's getting boring. Yeah. So you know, do something with him. But I I'm going for uh, Bray in this one. Bray. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I, 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 honestly, I want to go Bray, but I think Seth Rollins wins. He's on. He's the cover of the WWE video game, and uh, and Bray Wyatt never seems to win in the big matches, which is why fans are beginning to turn on him. So that's why I'm thinking Seth Rollins pulls this one out in a match that I, I honestly couldn't really care much about. Yeah, there's no, no. Yeah. I don't care. Like, there's no reason. But I want Bray to win. I don't even think I remember seeing them on. Were they on Raw this week? No. Well, I mean, they had promos. Oh, he did. And it was like in the middle of the day. Seth it was weird. Beat the hell out of Kurt Hawkins. So. And, yeah, and, and Ray's fro- promo was like outside in the middle of the day. That was different. That was weird. Well, he was in the middle of the desert. Yeah. So. Hey, guys. We're going to take a quick pause from the action to show a little bit of love to our sponsors. Offshoots Nation. Make sure you subscribe for free to the Offshoots Nation on Podbean, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, Player FM, and now iHeart 
Radio. You can get shows like The Offshoots, The Lucha Lounge with Steve DeMarco, Talking Smack with Christopher Hayden, Steel Famous, It Is What It Is with a Jackass, Just BS, Project Radio, and Southern Discomfort. The Offshoots Nation, the proud sponsor of The Jackass Station. SCNS Live every single Thursday night on YouTube.com slash SCNS Live, as well as the SCNS Live Facebook page. Watch as Jason the X and Matt Malaros host a great show where we talk all things nerd. Keep on nerd. Every other Saturday on the Jackass Nation and Offshoots Nation podcast channels, you can catch Nerd Interference, where Coach Matt and the Jersey Jackass interfere with everything you thought you knew about nerds, giving you the most up-to-date and fun sports analysis with a little bit of nerd love. On Sundays, check out Channel Control, hosted by Rob Entropy, where he and the Jackass and Matt Malaros talk everything going on in the TV world. Metroplex Wrestling, every single Saturday night at 510 Hardwood Road, Bedford, Texas. MPX Wrestling, the best wrestling in You shop Amazon? Check out the Amazon link in the description of this video below. All right, uh, next up, ah, the love of my life, my future wife, the one, the only, the Raw Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss, defending her title against the boss, Sasha Banks. I'm excited for yes, this Sasha. match. I love me some Sasha Banks. I, you know I love me some Alexa Bliss. These girls are going to tear the you house saw down. You my Comic-Con message, message, right? Which one? Oh. Uh, the one that I saw a bunch of names. I didn't read all of them. Huh? From Mattel. I saw who else was going to be there? Uh, Charlotte, Sasha, Bailey, um, Nikki, and um, Becky Lynch. Okay, so so Alexa Bliss was not on that list. Why but I am. So, so, fuck, I but I'm still excited. I, I, I am, need to meet Becky Lynch. I'm definitely excited to see see Nikki. Oh, Becky. And Becky. Yes, and Sasha Delta the boss, the Becky. boss, bro, the oh, yeah. boss. Yeah. But but you know what? I will warn you. Last year that I couldn't even get close to that panel. I couldn't even get close. Well, we will. So anyway, go on. Moving but on. all right. So Alexa Bliss defending the title against Sasha Banks. Uh, glad it's not Naomi, not Naomi, but uh, Nia Jax because I I am uh, God. Nia Jax is so bad. You shut your mouth. Everything no. she does in the ring, she's I'm bad. just afraid she's going to kill somebody every single time. And not like, yo, yo, Brock Lesnar just killed him. No, like, oh my God, Nia Jax just dropped her on her neck. (laughs) Yeah, they they can't jump off the rope at her. Mm -mm. They have to come at her, have her grab them and throw them. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. She will will kill somebody. Yeah. So, but the match itself, I think these girls are going to tear the house down. What are you guys thinking? Um... I'm going to enjoy the match no matter who wins yeah. on this one. Because they have a higher bar. They And I hate to say it like this, but the women wrestlers have a higher bar. They need to establish more than just your average pre-show match. Oh, yeah. Well, so, I, mean, I think they've gotten past that. Now. And they have been successfully doing that for a while. While I fucking hate how they are burying Bailey. Oh yeah, and I have to explain this to my daughter, who's her favorite wrestler, is getting buried week after week. I do think we're going to get a good match between Sasha and and everybody and whatever Alexa, yeah, Alexa, um, and well, it's just Alexa. It's, it's Nia's just, not. Yeah. Well, Nia will probably be ringside. Nia, I I wouldn't doubt because she's up. yeah. She's Nia gonna is definitely going to show up, and but I and I bet Becky. I think will we'll show get up. a good match because, and honestly, the weak point in that. Is Alexa Bliss? I'm sorry, she's. I think Alexa's the top, the top heel in the company. Okay, on ad, on at ever. this point, and I and, and when you put her, yes, when you put her in the ring with Nia Jax, it's gonna be bad matches. So at this point, but I expect and, great balls of fire. Is the point where Alexa Bliss proves me wrong? That's all I'm saying. I don't see how she hasn't proven you. Like her matches with Bailey were incredible. What she did with with Sasha early on was, was incredible. Okay. Everything she did she was okay. She carried SmackDown. She come on now. She carried SmackDown. As the only like real good heel on that show, I'll give you that. But I really want to see her shine because yeah. here you are on a pay per view. So let's see it. That's yeah. all I gotta say. I hope it's not one of those matches where, well, now I get to go to the bathroom. 
Oh, uh, well, I'll, I'll be doing that during uh, Cesaro and Sheamus and the Hardys. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> well, that's 30 minutes. We got time. Moving on to uh, the one that we seem to be the most excited about. And if uh, Miss Jamie here wants to get on, we can talk a little bit about Roman Reigns and Ramen. Braun Strowman. Ramen. Oh, Ramen. Oh, yeah, Ramen. 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 Ramen noodles and Braun Strowman. Ramen noodles and Braun. In the I'm Not Done With You ambulance match. <sighs> We flipped an ambulance. We've hit in an ambulance. We've used an ambulance as a uh, distraction. I think that Braun Strowman has a friend who drives an ambulance. I think Braun needs to go over this match. Especially so is it just that we that we we just we just like the way Roman looks? Oh no no no! I've been following him since he first like made it on the scene. You're oh yeah. Full of shit. Okay. All right. Uh, a while back, I was actually part of. A, She's my friend. That I was way. actually part of. A particular group that would go to. There you go. We're giving her a mic, really? Me again? Yes. Hey. Don't give her a mic. Uh, For a while, I was actually part of a particular wrestling group when I was traveling to Realmscon, which Jason didn't know because he never brought his ass back down to Corpus Christi. Hey, they need to invite us back down. I want to come down to Realmscon. That's coming home for me. So yeah, (laughs) when I was going by my stage name of Black Cats. I was an avid, exactly. I was an avid Roman Reigns follower. I actually went to an all-male party, watched the Smack, watched SmackDown, watched all the pay-per-view. I, it was I, it was bad. Are you so. a conflict on the show tonight? Anyway, go ahead. I, I, you know what? That's that's awesome. Hey, look, I liked, okay. I liked I, I, Roman I, I, Reigns, I, I, too, I, I, until he buried uh, Bubble, Bully Ray. That's when as, I stopped. As too. a representative of SNS Live and, and Realms Con, I love Realms Con. I need to come back down for Realms Con. So tell Danny, my friend, to let we, us come we, down and cover we, that. We're talking wrestling, not Realms Con. No, Realms Con <laughs> is a great event. We, we we'll talking wrestling, later. not Realms We're talking. We talking wrestling. Yeah, but y'all bro? brought her onto the microphone. And, 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 and she Reigns. talked And she talked about Roman Reigns. And she which also is part of Realms Wrestling. <laughs> We're going to get it. We're going to get into this later. Anyway, moving on. Um, oh, my pick. I'm um, not finished with you yet. Go ahead. <laughs> no, that's oh, all. God. I just want to... <laughs> Shut the hell up. Um, Braun Strowman needs to go over this one. Uh, of obviously. Okay, that's all I got to say. I'm, not, I'm, not, you, you, I'm so tired of saying But do you think Robin he's wrestling. going to? Um, I think he is. I'm, I'm actually kind of tired of seeing Roman win. Uh, I've been tired of seeing Roman win. Roman win. So, Roman, Roman won't win... Um, Braun needs to go over this match at least to continue the feud or whatever. It's not going to hurt Heat on Robin. No. So let's just give Braun. It'll hurt Braun if we, if he loses. So there, Braun needs to go over this match. That's all I got to say. What do you What do you got, Rob? Roman Reigns. Fuck y'all. Fuck you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Bro, see, look at that. The hot girl comes on, says she likes Roman Reigns, Dude, and now, you, and you now know, Rob's all over you. Like, know I'm Roman all... Reigns, Roman Reigns, Roman. <laughs> look at you, look at you. What was I saying before? I was like, why does everybody hate Roman? Why is Roman so bad? He don't seem so bad to me. Yeah, they are pushing him kind of hard, but I mean, on they, honestly, on, 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 on Raw, they're not booing him that much anymore. Oh yeah, they are. S- no SmackDown. He's Smackdown. not on SmackDown. He's only they, on Raw. They mention his name on SmackDown. Booze. Uh, okay, okay. Are you watching it on Hulu? Yes. Yeah, they ch- they changed the audio, bro. Oh really? They, they, yeah, they dialed down the booze in the audio for that. Okay, well, maybe. Go, what, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Wait till we're in the arena on Sunday night and listen to that place erupt with booze. Okay. All right. All right. Now, don't get me wrong. There are a lot of children that are cheering for him, and there are a lot of girls that are cheering for him. He is the new age John Cena. Now, I've always loved John Cena, and I actually liked Roman to begin with. What I didn't like about Roman was when there was an episode of Raw where the main event was going to be Roman Reigns versus Bubba Ray, and Roman Reigns buried Bubba Ray. They had him squash Bubba Ray because in the Roman main event of Raw. Boring. That's why. Anyway, and I was furious. So I'm going Braun. I do think it's going to be a boring match, though. I'm not, yeah. Ambulance matches are always just ugh, dumb. But all right, main event time. Let's get to it. Brock Lesnar with his at. Oh, I'm sorry, oh. Brock Lesnar taking on 
Samoa Joe in one of the greatest ideas for a match. This is just power, strength, okay. the war. Not the Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe, baby. The build up, Joe is, up until this point has been done great. Perfect. With Joe and the whole thing that started with Paul Heyman with... Hey, I didn't talk to you a second. <laughs> yes, that was wonderful. And then him catching him up the next week with, oh, oh, no, 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 that's not for you. It's for your boy. But and then <laughs> Samoa Joe as that hungry champion, it's almost Clubber Lang. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it is. This has been done well, and I'm torn because there's a part of me that wants Joe to take the title belt. And now put Brock in the chase. However, I am willing to let Brock Lesnar win if it continues this feud. I, I think it will. I, I definitely think it's going to continue. But that is the only reason. The end of it. Do not bury Samoa see, Joe see after this. How, how can you continue the feud? Because, I mean, Brock oh, Lesnar because the way disappeared she, once he got no, the belt. No, because Joe is hungry. Joe is going after him. Joe is calling him out for everything that he is. And that part, I enjoy watching. Yes, that, that, that's wonderful. Now, I suppose next is Joe like going to Brock's house, pounding <laughs> down the door saying, you come out here. Freaking John Wickham, man. <laughs> you barely escaped me. So you are giving me the rematch that I deserve. That's the only reason I don't want Joe to go over. Here's here's the thing though we're and, and you talk about Brock leaving and not being there mm. we're getting into Brock season all right because we have SummerSlam coming up followed by eventually Survivor Series big pay per views are coming up here in the next couple months all right so we have great balls of fire and we have SummerSlam and I think this feud is going to carry through SummerSlam at the very least so I don't think. That I I think we could see a situation where we don't even have a clear winner. I can see a situation that that that, that, that it, yeah, it's some kind of brawl that the referee is just like, damn this, stop, no. DQ, just, oh, just, if it's done well, yeah, okay, it better be done well, yeah. Considering all the build up, don't blow this off of some bullshit. Oh no, I don't think they're going to. I think this is going to be match of the night. Okay, then. yeah, th- yeah, this because better, this better be a fight. Because I'm not as just get in the ring and do some stuff, I'm told this better be a goddamn street fight. Now, mm-hmm. as a wrestling fan who's followed a lot of indie stuff, Brock versus Samoa Joe is a fucking dream match. Yeah, of mine. <laughs> yeah, it's one we've had since Samoa Joe oh, came God. on the screen. It's what we never thought would happen ever because where he's in TNA. Brock's there's not so even much wrestling. stuff that had to line up for us to get this match, and here we have it. So yeah, at this point, yeah, I wouldn't mind this. Because I don't want a one and done. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. No one and done. I want Samoa Joe, like, torturing Brock. Like, following him everywhere he goes. You're getting milk at the grocery store. Here, I'm going to (laughs) choke you out. You're getting your tires balanced at the fucking, you know, store. Here comes Joe to kick you in the face. (laughs) I want this because Joe is doing that so well. Because he, I mean, even the Twitter stuff. Yeah. Where he's like, I took you down twice, man. Just that right there. Yes. When did Brock coming out? How many people interrupted Brock doing his during his entrance and come out there and just latched yeah. on to him like a damn bulldog? Yeah. And and Brock Brock sells so beautifully. He changed four chance, different yes. colors. He changed four different colors in that because <laughs> because he probably went, "Yo man, I was in UFC, choked the crap he out of me." He went pink, purple and blue. <laughs> that was great. He got Joe off at one point and Joe just latched on again like a pit bull. Yes. Yes, that was absolutely what I wanted. So, under that I could stand to see Joe lose, but honestly, Who I want to see Joe win. I, I don't th- now. Granted, I don't think I'm going to get what I want. Okay, you, you, you don't think you're going to get. So you think Brock's going to win, but you yeah. want Joe. 
I think Brock's gonna win, and I wouldn't be and I wouldn't be objectionable. Yeah, to Brock I, winning. I want I want Joe to win. I don't think it's Joe's time to win though. Just just the fanboy in me. Okay, wants so you're Joe on the same win. aspect. But okay. I think I don't think Brock loses the belt yet. I think he wins by nefarious means or by disqualification, something like that, and we go on to SummerSlam. Okay, uh, that that's and I, me. Rob. And I, what do you got? I, I've gained a lot of admiration for Samoa Joe. Didn't know him too much before, but right now, it's it's Brock. Yeah, Brock's gonna take it because they gotta they gotta stretch this thing out. Mm-hmm. It's it, it's too good. Yeah, absolutely. It is money. It is money. All right, now before we before we get into this, Jay, what are you most looking forward to about Great Balls of Fire? Honestly, Samoa Joe and Brock yeah. Lesnar. I have waited for this match. And I finally get it. Yeah. So I'm going to savor it. Yeah. Give it to me medium rare. I'll put a little bit of steak sauce to the side. I want this match. And I mm-hmm. don't care how it ends as long as it continues afterwards. Rob, with you being there live, what are you most excited to see live at WWE Great Balls of Fire here in Dallas, Texas? Two matches. Hardy Boys. God damn it. <laughs> Screw you. And Alexa Bliss. And Sasha Blanks. I just, just, yeah, yeah, I think they're going to tear the house down too. And I would go. go Alexa's going go to take it, but I think this is going to be a really good one. They, they they gave her her win Monday night. Mm-hmm. Sasha got her win Monday night. Yeah, but Alexa's going to is going to win this. I think this one's going to tear down the house too. And that's that's one of the things I'm most excited for. I'm going to mark out when Alexa Bliss's music hits. I'm going to mark out when Enzo <laughs> comes out there. But I am really going to mark out like a little kid. When Brock Lesnar and Samoa Joe, when that bell rings, and these two go to bloody war, and God damn it, you let them go to war. You let it blood, sweat, tears in that ring. Let's go to war. That has been Go Home, ladies and gentlemen. Jason, where can the people of the Jackass Nation find you? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at JasonTheX. Robin Trophy. You can find me Entropy1, N-T-R-O-P-I-1 on the Twitters, and you can also find me at Channel Control TV. Y'all know how to find me at Real Jack SBC. That's R E L J A C K A S S B C on all social media Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. Don't forget to check out everything else here on the Jackass Nation Podbean channel as well as the Offshoots Nation. Special shout out to uh, DJ Bentendo once again for doing that awesome theme song we have, as well to McConnelly Graphics for that awesome logo that we have. Thank y'all so much for listening. We'll see you next time on the next episode of Go Home New D Rocks. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to Go Home. We'll be back right before the next WWE pay-per-view. Don't forget to follow BC on Twitter at RealJackAssBC. We'll see you next time. Go home, go home, go home. I don't ever take this. I'm going home.